Welcome and thanks for taking the time to view this video where we will be taking a look at an error with SHA digest of the file file name does not match manifest in VMware Workstation Pro 16.2. If this error is encountered when importing an image, first, open the file system to the path of the image. If the image is an OVA file, extract the contents of the OVA. There should be multiple files including any disk files, .ovf descriptor file, and a .mf or manifest file. Next, open a manifest file with any text editor. This file will contain the hash algorithm used, the file names, and the calculated hash for each file. If you're on a Windows machine, open a PowerShell session. Change directories to the location of the files and list the files with dir or ls command. Calculate the hash files in PowerShell by running get dash file hash space asterisk space dash algorithm space hash algorithm from the manifest file, in this case SHA-256. Alternatively, you can just enter get dash file hash space asterisk, which will work although the hash algorithm returned by the hash may not necessarily be comparable with what is in the manifest file or cert util space dash hash file space file name space hash algorithm. If you own a Mac terminal, you can get various hash values with sha sum space dash a space the hash algorithm value space file name. For MD5, run MD5 space file name. On a Linux terminal, run SHA-256 sum space file name. Or for MD5, MD5 sum space file name. Whichever option you choose, use the hash algorithm that matches what's in the manifest file and that the hash matches. If the hash files don't match what's in the manifest file, then you may have a file integrity issue and may need to re-download and validate the hash of the file. In this example, the hash does match, therefore there isn't a file integrity issue. To address the issue where the hash files match, copy-paste the OVF file and rename it. Then, delete the manifest file. Re-import the appliance into VMware Workstation, this time using the newly created .ovf file instead of the original .ova or .ovf file. The appliance should now import successfully. This concludes this video. We hope that this was informative and you enjoyed this video. We look forward to providing future content that may help you. If you like this video and would like to help out this channel, please consider subscribing to the channel, liking and sharing the video, commenting below, and selecting the bell icon to be notified when future content posts. Thanks and have a great day.